Are you ready to rock out with Teaser Talk? A podcast full of music, fashion, humor, and randomness. Here are your hosts, Donna and Holly. Happy Teaser Talk Tuesday. I hope you guys are having the most rad day today. Donna and I are super stoked because... We have two super special guests with us today. Welcome to the guys from the Stupid Heroes. Oh man! Thank you for having us. We were looking forward to this all week. So. Likewise. That's right. That's awesome. We're missing one guy. Though. We are missing one guy. We wish he was, he was here, but he likes to sleep in. He doesn't like to answer phone calls. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys, you guys, just make sure you represent him well. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll, we'll do the best we can. Yeah, that'll be a little hard. <laughs> That's a little hard. He's, he's pretty wild. He's uh, he's the crazy man of the group, so he does all oh, the crazy. Man. So when Holly first brought you guys my attention, she was like, there are these guys that I think we should interview next. And the first thing she showed me was the puke shake, oh, the vomit no. shake. That That's what it's listed on YouTube, the vomit shake. And honestly, yeah. I could not get through the whole video, which... It is great if you ask me because I'm not I'm not a weak stomach person. You guys got me there. So, you guys, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves before we start? All right, you want to go first, man? Well, introduce yourself. I'm Garrett Dar, aka um, Growth. Yeah, everybody calls me Growth, Garrett the Ferret, all <laughs> kinds of like weird shit. But yeah, so Garrett is the dude who does all the great skits. He's the one who dresses up and. Does all the crazy stuff, aka like Donnie G, Dong. He's just <laughs> everything, man. Um, myself, I'm Brady Hearn. Of course, uh, I also play in Essential End, so I've, I kind of juggle everything. So I guess more so for the stupid heroes, I do more of the film and editing and uh, instigate a lot. So that's that's my job. Nice. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Yeah. He makes some, some of the good ideas, he makes some of the videos just a little bit better. Yeah. I got to do what I got to do, right? We got to make it good. <laughs> yes. Right. And I guess we'll speak for Brock as well. Um, like I said, unfortunately, he's not here. But, I mean, Brock, he, he's the guy that if you want to get the wildest stuff on video, like, he will make it happen. Like, if someone's like, I'm not going to do that, he's going to do it. And, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen many of the Snapchats. He's either nude, <laughs> peeing in his mouth, uh, vomiting, like, Breaking it's himself. Breaking himself. Like, <laughs> you name it, the kid does it, and he's not afraid to do it. So, I wish he was here, but he's wild. So, he's <laughs> so a very important part of the group. So, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> we get the gold with him. I mean, we do with Garrett as well, but we definitely get some killer gold with Brock. He does the gross stuff. Yeah. That's he does awesome. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, he does, he does the stuff that we do not want to do. Oh, I, I myself, I don't want to do either. <laughs> I'm always filming. I get talked into it sometimes, but not not too many times. I got so, to get my head. so let's start out by having you guys tell us how the Stupid Heroes came to be. Like, who was the mastermind behind it all, and how did everybody get involved? Um, I guess I'll start that off. I mean, Garrett kind of came in it was a little later. It was it, Garrett came in a little later. We've actually been doing this for quite a few years now. Um. Honestly, it kind of started with a good friend of mine I grew up with. His name's uh, Corey Stetzel. So me and him kind of started the whole thing because, I mean, we grew up, I have an older brother, so he was into, you know, the CKY trilogy stuff and Jackass. So, like, you know, being, the, you know, I mean, the older brother and I always hung out with him. So maybe it wasn't a good influence, but that's kind of what I grew up on myself. And uh, I guess it more so started, I would say, big time. I mean, Honestly, me and Corey were filming each other with like this poopy camera in like sixth grade, trying to like ramp like little cars and stuff like that. So that's kind of where it started. And then um, junior high school, that's when everyone started to meet. So I think we met, I probably would have been seventh or eighth grade. He's a little younger than I am. So uh, I think junior high school is when everyone kind of met. I mean, I knew Brock, his brother, and Corey since we were, you know, little kids, like five years old, but. I would say it, it's it's been going on for quite some time, but it got serious more so junior high school, uh, high school. So yeah, that's when it all started. And then uh, the other thing is too, we were going hard in high school. So that video scene with the the vomit, that video is like four or five years old, and we were in high school then. So then we kind of stopped because you know when you were in your high school and then you're all friends and stuff, everyone gets out of high school and everyone kind of splits. Yeah. So um. That kind of faded out for a little while, and then just within the last couple months, um, everyone got the back together and decided why the hell not do it again. 
we had fun doing it before, so no one else is really doing it. Yeah, what do we got to lose, man? Yeah, what do we got to lose? You know what I mean? As long as we're having fun, make each other laugh, that's what it's about. So it is, yes. So you guys were featured on Rob Dyrdek's ridiculousness. What was that like? Oh man. <laughs> Uh, dude, that was like the greatest feeling ever because I'm going to say about six months ago. So like I said, that video is from like four or five years ago. And we always hope for like Tosh.0 to like see it or something because we were like, this is so gnarly. Like this deserves some recognition. And, you know, about six months ago, it was me and Brock. I remember it like, like it was yesterday. We were sitting on my couch. Just why I think we were watching ridiculousness. That was the weird thing. And I got a private message on Facebook from the executive producer of MTV's Ridiculousness. And he, I, I like already knew what was going on. So I got on his profile and was checking. And then he sent me the message. I was like, I don't know if this is a hoax. Someone messing with us, or whatever. And he had in there, you know, he's like, I'm so and so. And I'm reaching out to you because we came across your video on YouTube and it's super gross, but we want to air it on season nine. And I was like, holy shit, like it's going to finally get some recognition, maybe. So I did my research. Um, actually there's a couple of people called me from MTV and, uh, it all happened within like an hour. We had to go to my buddy Corey's work cause he was working. We all met there and actually had to talk to MTV, um, at his work. And we were on the phone with him for like 20 minutes, but it was like the most unreal thing. Like I can't really explain how that felt. I mean, I was proud, but then like Corey wasn't proud cause he's like, you know, like there's me drinking vomit. Like it's cool, but it's like I don't know if I went down TV because there's many, many people have seen that. But I mean, I was definitely proud of it. I, I'd say I was pretty proud That's of it. Great. it. It was a great experience to have that happen. So it's pretty yeah. wild. <laughs> That's awesome. Because you know what? That was actually going to be our next question. Is because we are always we always see like on Jackass or shows like that where it's like, do not send us tapes. We do not take submissions. Da da. So we were trying to figure out like, is there truth to that? Yeah, um, definitely, because in, ways. In, in ways, I would say definitely in ways. I mean, if, if you have a connect, maybe more so if you're like, you know, you shoot out an email and like, hey, we're doing this, maybe type of thing. But I mean, they contacted us. And I mean, I was totally blindsided by it because it's, I mean, it happened four or five years ago. And that's kind of how it started. And I think that's what really triggered us to want to bring it back. Because it's like, if someone on that high of a caliper is... Like wow, this is gross, but it's really good. It's like why not? Why not do it again? So yeah. we we started up again. It was gross, but we also weren't intentionally hurting ourselves either. Yeah, like, <laughs> they obviously see it. we're intentionally hurting ourselves. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Yep. So yeah, so that was. You guys had brought up um, CKY and Jackass, and yeah. so that's kind of what your videos reminded us of. So with that being said, I'm curious to know if you guys were to most compare yourself to one of the guys from either Jackass or CKY. Um, so for example, um, we have talked about this in our group of friends because we were kind of into the same kind of video recording as adolescence we thought it was fun too so we've always kind of considered myself to be the steve-o of the group and holly to be our own little knoxville so what would you guys say your place would be in that oh man <laughs> that's a good question Dude. i don't think we've ever i, I mean i don't i haven't really ever thought about that how have you yeah. never thought of that i mean oh man that's, that's a tough one um i'd say garrett like Garrett reminds me of Brandon DiCamello because of like how he dresses up and does the voices and stuff. I know he was more of the, you know, the CKY, but I mean, that's who you remind me of. Like you're, he can be so serious and do the most funniest things. And he never, like he never breaks like out and starts laughing. Like he's so good. I can cry. He does. Okay. Yeah. He, he's, he's, like, I can be he's, good. Good. he's definitely like an actor. That's, that's who you remind me of. And I, uh, who do you think Brock? Really? Brock honestly, you just shooter. throw, you just go in your closet and just throw me like suits from like, yeah. movies, <laughs> and I just put on ugly glasses and you tell me to say stupid. That's what I'm saying. We just break out like my dad's old it. school clothes from like the eighties. Cause he was in like a glam rock band back in the day. So we just take his clothes and put them on him. But yeah, I definitely think Brandon, Brandon DiCamello for you. Um, Brock, I'd say for Brock, dude, he totally reminds me of a mix of Steve-O and Brandon Novak, yes, for sure. Yes, for they sure, are very yeah. similar, very fucking similar, especially Novak. Him and Novak, are, they have a lot of traits. 
I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but <laughs> they have a lot of different tricks. Which is now, crazy. how about you? I'm kind of getting a Knoxville vibe just because, as you said, you're kind of the instigator. Right. Um, I could, I, for Brady, I could say a mix between Bam, like Little Bam and freaking uh, Knoxville because he does instigate some, <laughs> yeah. some stuff. I mean, Bam's an instigator too. He, he's definitely an instigator as well, but Knoxville. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I could see that. I, I can see that. Sure. I'll take that. Thought, hey, that's, never, a, that's a compliment. Man. I never I'll thought about it like that. Like that's actually a very good, a very good uh, assumption. They definitely got Knoxville. Yeah, I'll yeah. Take it. Take it. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like. It. Okay, that's <laughs> awesome. So now we have a little game in store for you guys. Oh, so man, man. it's called "Who Is That Fucked Up." You that you think you can handle it? Uh, true. I guess we'll see what happens. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay, so we're going to ask you guys a series of questions, and it's okay. up to you to tell us which one of you fits best for that answer. Now, I know Brock's not with this, but you can include him if you feel like he's going to most fit that question, okay? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so first up is which one of you comes up with the craziest ideas? Um, oh, man. Probably it has to be Brady. Brady does. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll take that one. I don't know. I I, <laughs> I think way too much. I'm always thinking. I I mean to be like, oh yeah, me. But I would say, yeah. I, think I guess so. we definitely make we make more ideas and like write more stuff down than we actually film and do. Yeah. yeah. We have so much stuff that we could go for like a year filming every day and just yeah. kind of stuff. Like also, that. also, I think I'd have to include. Um, I know he's kind of in the background of things, but Brock's brother Dalton, he used to be a big part of it. He, he like he came up with the milkshake idea, and he's I hilarious. think I think that was fucking clever as hell. So yeah, I, I would say him. I would say Dalton for yeah. myself, but eh? so Dalton's a good one. Yeah, Dalton is a good one, dude. He's he's clever, dude. So yeah, that answers that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so who can be a little bitch when it comes to trying new stunts? Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> Garrett, yeah, uh, I guess so. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes I do stuff, but I don't really get asked to be like do anything. But yeah, I'd say Garrett. This is the way the stupid doing here that. works. Yeah. We make a video and we do one thing gross, and then like five seconds after doing that gross thing, Brady blurts out something else <laughs> gross to do to keep it going because you're already <laughs> gross. Not you might as well do this gross thing because it's not as bad. You just did that. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely the Knoxville. That answers that question. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. awesome. Who's the most disgusting? Oh, that's that's an easy one. <laughs> that would be Brock. <laughs> What's like the most will... disgusting thing he's ever done, in your opinion? Oh, gosh. Um, Pissing in his mouth. Dude, I don't know, man. I mean, that's pretty gross. I've seen him do some... I, I'm going to say one of the grossest things I've seen that kid do. And I had the full video, I believe, on my Snapchat, but I didn't post it on Instagram. Uh, he took a dump in the toilet. And I had this idea for a really long time. And he just added some flair to it. So I wanted him to eat, like, cereal out of the toilet bowl. And he came home from work one day, and it was like 10 minutes later. He was like, I was like, dude, you want to do this idea today? And he's like, let's do it. So... He took a dump in the toilet, flushed it. I poured cocoa puffs in the toilet, and he was eating it out. And he threw it back up in there, and he kept eating it. So that was oh, no. one of the <laughs> grossest things I've ever um, seen him do, other than like peeing in his mouth consistently and stuff like that. That's but, like second nature for him. Yeah. You know, it's, I saw yeah. that on your snap, and I'm like, I was like, kind of like, it's like one of those things where you, you close your eyes, but you keep, you know, if you open one just to see. But I was like. <laughs> I yeah. kept watching. I had to go back and replay it a couple times. So I was like, is that a water gun? Is he really, like, pissing in his mouth? So, oh, yeah. yeah. That, was, oh, yeah. Uh, that was pretty gross. He really, yeah, it's that, I'd say that's the grossest thing. He's definitely Bear Grylls. Better, yeah. better drink my own piss. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, dude. No doubt. <clears throat> All right. So, who is the first to volunteer to do a dangerous stunt? Ooh. Man, I think... I think that'd be uh, Brock again. Probably Brock. I'd, yeah. I'd say Brock, dude. He's he's definitely in it now. I mentioned before Corey. Like when Corey was really in it, um, he he was definitely the number one guy to be like, I'll do it. But Brock is definitely taking the title for that one, for sure. 
So who's just going straight to hell? Um, probably me. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably him after the video we made a couple days ago. Oh my that god. That was um. There's a lot of pissed off people I hear from Brock's work that seen the video. Did okay. you guys see the one with that the was dancing? The point of it. it was the point it's of the, people off. Yeah, the Hollywood video. Did you see uh -uh. it with him in the screen? Yeah, it, it's it's fucked up. I don't even know if I well. I mean, we brought a fucked up shit anyway. So. We had an idea like a couple days ago because uh, I work here at the social media place. We had like a green screen room and stuff, so I can be pretty much do whatever. So we were like, all right, let's, let's, because we're actually working on a Stupid Heroes movie as well at the moment. And we wanted to get a shot of him in front of the green screen being stupid. So I was like, he had the idea, why don't I, because what's trending right now, there's fires going on in California. And so uh, I guess we thought it was a good idea to put him in front of the Hollywood sign on fire dancing to burn. I did see burn. that. I did. <laughs> um, it, it really fucked up. Um, we might delete that one, but I don't know. I don't. I, don't I actually, haven't got it. I don't yeah. actually want Hollywood to be. On. I have friends yeah. that live in Cali. Like he, I love he Cali. goes to Cali. He like he's going to California. Yeah. What in like a month? Yeah. Like I mean, he's there a lot. He he does BMX and stuff. So. I mean, it's not like we're hating on it, but that's pretty fucked up because there are people losing their houses and shit out there. But we were trying to figure out a way to trigger people to get pissed off to, be like, okay. And then they tell their friend, they go watch it and just kind of blows it up. But Right. Yeah, yeah it's a bad approach, but it was. I'm going to blame it on him. So he's going to hell for that for sure. Drew, <laughs> <laughs> you right under the bus. <laughs> so, okay. Yep. yep. So. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that's 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 the fucked up one. Oh goodness so who touches everyone excessively for no reason or just generally makes people uncomfortable fucking brock 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 50 percent two beers in that guy dude yeah he's, he's like all over me like he'll pit hit dick like eight times a oh, night yeah. like fuck like oh yeah all the time, like, the whole time, you know, what's up, bro? You yeah, know, always like, slapping ass and like, stuff. all the time. Dude, I came down the stairs yesterday, and he seriously grips me. Like, he grabs for my wiener. Like, I'm like, dude, like, what are you doing? And this is not even on film. Like, this is, like, his, his nature, <laughs> the way he is. But that, that would be Brock. <laughs> that would be Brock. So, who yeah. sings but probably shouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Aww. get it. Sure. <laughs> I love his songs. I do. But yeah. <laughs> Jesus, we have a band for the Stupid Heroes. Like, we're going to make our own music for like the Stupid Heroes movie and stuff. And it's going to be called Jesus and the Meat Cigars. So you definitely have to keep an eye out on that, too. There's going to be some hit songs coming out very soon. We got some stuff, stuff in the works, some rap songs and whatnot. All right. We'll, we'll download it on iTunes. That yeah. sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who would survive in the woods with just a hatchet? Sure. Yeah, I think I could. I think you could, too. I think... Yeah, I can say you. I could live in a van. Do that. Yeah, I think you could. I just think Brock would just go, like, ape shit. But I think you would, like... Brock would turn into a monkey. Yeah. Like, he would, he would <laughs> yeah. lose, like, the human aspect of life and just turn into a monkey yeah <laughs> <laughs> got that one in the bag okay so i don't know why but this next question it just made me laugh out loud when we were preparing for this so who has sex while watching tv <laughs> um what out of us all yeah like which one like who would be the person I mean, that would be that that guy who would be oh, that guy? And I had the opportunity to glance at the television. <laughs> I'm not like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I have been guilty. <laughs> I think we all have, probably. I've done it. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah sorry. Unless, Apologies. <laughs> unless I was really in it and I've turned the lights off and fucking, well, yeah. you know, heard some jazz and lit some candles. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I was going to see <laughs> he says I'm not that. <laughs> Don't expect wine. Yeah. <laughs> well. uh, all right. So, who would get the popcorn bucket out of the trash for free refills? You think Brock? Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, Rob. yeah, probably Brock. If, if I mean, was, if he went to eat cereal out of a toilet, I think he'd be yeah. okay with using a used popcorn bucket. Oh yeah, most definitely. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's that's a good answer. Especially if it's for a video. If we're, if we're oh, telling Brock we're filming it, then <laughs> sixty percent of the time he's gonna do it every time. Oh yeah. <laughs> so who wakes up with a half with with a half of a burrito in their bed? <laughs> Brock. <laughs> Brock. <laughs> Already <laughs> I feel like we need to have Brock on here just so we can also throw you guys too, because um, yeah. poor guys take over for the team. <laughs> uh, he He's not even here to defend himself. Dude, yeah. I, walked, I, I was going to tell you guys a lot. Like, I walked into his room to talk about being a slob. Like, I love him to death, dude. He's my friend. I love him for about. He needs to clean his fucking butthole. Like, yeah. <laughs> I walked into his and I, some, it smells like somebody threw an oyster, like, on his floor and just let it rot. That's how it smelled. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting there laying, like, this bed's so comfortable, man. I'm like, Dude. He does. He really does. Like, no sheets, food all over his <laughs> Dirty clothes. Like, the one that he fell asleep in his bed. Now, Brock lives with me, so we pretty much, like, live together. And it's madness all the time. So, like... He was sleeping in Brock's bed one night, and Brock comes in at like 4.30 in the morning. He was so pissed. He's like, I'm whipping fucking eggs at him. Dude. He like just whipped so many eggs on him. And he left the eggs on the floor for like a week straight, and it stayed so bad. <laughs> and he'll sleep like that, too. He'll sleep right through it. So, yeah. I don't know, man. I can't wait for him to listen back to it. We're going to play for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He'll probably agree, though. You're not saying anything he doesn't already know. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he just doesn't yeah. like to admit it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so who will make out with absolutely anyone? Brock. Brock. <laughs> Poor Brock. This is like a drinking game. Everybody, every time you guys say Brock, you have to take a shot. Like. Oh, oh Dude, man. We'd be drunk. We, yeah, we'd be hammered. I'd be hammered nine five minutes. That's oh, awesome. Yep. So who who's the guy that goes missing? After uh, 15 minutes of going out. A good one. Uh, I, guess that, I guess that varies, um, depending where we're at. Yeah. We all kind of get, like, grabbed and pulled somewhere else. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. I don't, I don't it's know. kind of all of us, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's a mix of everybody when we go like, out. Every time we go out, like, just depending on the group of people that we run into... We always get, like he said, one person will just go one way and, like, have their choice but, like, not be an asshole and hang out with this person. Because yeah. we hang out all the time, so it's like, yeah, I'll meet you at the house later. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, when we go out in public, it's, it's a little, it's weird because more and more there's, like, people you see and they're like, oh, you know, you grab them. And you don't want to be rude and not, you know, talk with people, hang out with people. But, uh, yeah, I'd say it's a mix of, mix of all of us for sure. Especially, I don't know, man. Go to the bars. It's crazy, <laughs> especially because we live in like a little town called Windsor, and it's not very big. So I mean, everyone kind of knows everyone a little bit. Then in your county, like just tons of people. So yeah, I don't know, man. I'd it's say all of us. All of us. For okay. Sure. So who has a dark side? Crazy. <laughs> what is it? The dark side. Yeah, you do. Why? Why is that? You just do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to see it. <laughs> oh, yeah, We're all, right. all hanging out the fire and like having it. Where, it's like, where the fuck's Brady at? I disappear. Where's he at? I disappear and I walk in the basement. He's in the dark, sitting in a chair, like on his phone. Like, <laughs> like, oh, I'm watching my, I'm watching my drum video, man. It's, it's gotta be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Dark side, and, uh, then, and then he comes out of it. And he's like, "Oh, I'll come out to the fire, bro." Oh man, <laughs> you are not kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm always getting myself into things. Always. So I have one last question for you guys, and this is kind of inspired by um, a video I just saw on Instagram that you guys had posted. Um, it was the one that you guys were in the restaurant. So, who is the most likely to get kicked out of a nice eating establishment? Um. If, with us, us all together, we'd all be end up getting kicked out together. But I think uh, the one getting started is Brock. <laughs> yeah. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. I think Brock's got that one again in the bag. Yep. 
but then we all kind of like join in on it. So yeah, yeah, that was funny. It gets pretty yesterday. bad. Oh yeah, it gets, it's it gets bad. And we were at a really fancy restaurant yesterday. And people, it was funny because there was a guy. He's like starting this YouTube blog type thing, and uh, we had dinner with him with a few other people. So he was filming us, and uh, uh, it was funny because he's like, "Yeah, these guys are the uh, the next." jackass and everyone just turns and they're like and the waiter like broke his neck to turn around because he's like oh shit like something's gonna happen and and that's when we started fucking squeezing lemons in brock's eyes and they weren't too happy about that this place yeah i'm pretty sure this place had like a dress code and shit and i'm in there with like blue jeans like muddy boots fucking greasy ass car and i'm sitting there like dipping my fingers in the ketchup and shit like Mm -hmm. Half the food on that menu, I didn't even know what it was. Like, I just said, like, a yeah. word, and then I ended up with a burger. <laughs> and it was, it was really good, though. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for playing that game. Um, those were definitely some fun answers. Yeah, that was fun. Very fun. Yes. You guys are definitely an interesting bunch. Um, could you tell us the best way to find you so everyone else can get a taste of your antics? Absolutely. Um... We are on pretty much every social media platform. Um, Snapchat is a huge thing. If if everyone wants to see the gnarliest, greatest things ever, I know a little lately it's been a little dry, but I promise Snapchat is what you want, which is six shyster. So if you add six shyster in Snapchat, you'll see the most um, I don't know what would you say uncensored material. Yeah. Just, and uh, yeah. just kind of stuff to have like just put a spaz in your day, like. Just funny, random stuff. Yeah. We always try to keep the, the Snapchat lit. And then, uh, <laughs> at least, see, like that, use lit. <clears throat> what? what? Trendy. Trendy. <laughs> what? Oh, lit. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, well, anyway, so Instagram, <laughs> too. I would say Instagram is starting to become a good thing for us as well, which is uh, Stupid Ears TV. And uh, we're going to start working on our Facebook page as well, which we do have that. And that's uh, Stupid Ears TV as well. And then YouTube, we're starting to work with again, which is also Stupid Ears TV. So if you search Stupid Ears TV, you will find us. And if you're having a hard time, just go to Google and type it in that search bar, and I'm sure it'll pop up. So. Yeah, our Snapchat and everything should pop up. Yeah. If you find our YouTube channel, our YouTube channel has our Snapchat name and Instagram, you know, all that good stuff. Perfect. Well, like thank you guys. So much yeah. for spending time with us. We can't wait to see what kind of crazy new stunts you guys come up with in the future. Oh yeah, there there'll be plenty of good things coming. So yeah, once once this uh, movie's done, I think we'll have that released sometime, probably by the summer of 2018. So we're we're pretty excited for that one. And where are you going to be releasing that? Um, my goal is to get that finished. If we can wrap that up by the end of winter and then set a release date, maybe the beginning of summer, maybe sometime in uh june maybe july so that's that's the worst not a not a set date yet but that's that's my goal that i have so hopefully hopefully not too long hopefully not too long we got a lot of stuff already so awesome and a big thank you to our listeners as well be sure to check out the stupid heroes let us know what you think um as a matter of fact i would love for you to try and watch vomit shake all the way through without vomiting yourself and i'd love to see some reaction videos to that Yes, and a matter of fact, we would love to see reaction videos um, on top of that. So it, we would like to give or offer a free gift to anyone who shares your reaction videos with us. Um, so send them our way. Our Instagram is Teaser Talk. Um, that's probably the best way of reaching out to us for sure. Yes, and until next time, guys, keep rocking. Thank you for listening to Teaser Talk. For topic requests and to connect with the hosts, follow at talk underscore two underscore teaser on Twitter. Keep rocking.